So, you want to make text appear out of nowhere. Well, step one, become a magician. Step two, it solves itself. It really does. Hey guys, welcome back to Spy Kai. I'm Kai, and today we are back once again, taking a look at uh, what I did, what I just said. What, yeah, I said it already. You gotta listen the first time when I said it. I don't know, if you didn't hear it, you can rewind it. But, I'm gonna say it again just for you. We're making some text, and the text is gonna kind of come out of nowhere a little bit, but the trick is, is that this scene has to be kind of specific, so I'll, I'll share the, the deets with you as we progress. So, first thing we're going to do is we're going to hit B to box select over top of our default cube in the lamp. I'm sorry. We're going to delete, and we're going to delete that because we don't need those things today. I'm going to select my camera and hit Alt-G and Alt-R to clear the rotation and location. You know how this goes. RX on my keyboard, 90 on my numpad. Left click to confirm that, that movement, and then G, Y to move the camera backwards. Now, we're all set up. I'm going to hit zero on my numpad to go into the camera's view. And I'm going to hit shift A, and we're going to add in a mesh plane. Yes. Hit RX on your keyboard, then 90 to rotate 90 degrees. Left click to confirm, and then we're going to hit S to scale this bad boy up. Just roughly, approximately the size, the, the height of our camera's viewport. Anyway. I'm going to hit GX to move this over this direction because we don't need it right now. Um, and I'm going to hit Shift A to add in a text object. Then, of course, RX 90 to rotate 90 degrees. Left click. Then uh, go to the text tab here and then go to font. And then hit this little folder right here to bring up your fonts. And once you've selected your font folder, I'm going to grab a font, which is going to be Bronova Bold. And then we're going to open that up. And now you can see very slight difference. Not too big of a difference, but it's enough to notice so i'm gonna hit tab to edit this text i'm just gonna make it say you guessed it text that was very necessary um and then we're going to change uh, in, the, in the paragraph tab under alignment we're going to change it from horizontal to center because that's just a pet peeve of mine now we're directly in the center of the canvas we don't have to mess around with it and we're also going to change the uh the uh, uh, uh line spacing Actually, not the line spacing. We're the offset Y, sorry. <laughs> what am I doing? The offset Y to approximately negative 2, depending on how thick or how whatever your text is. I just wanted to get in the center. So probably 0.25 is pretty close. 0.23. Yeah, 0.23. Negative 0.23, sorry. Now with our text, with our, with our plane, sorry. You can see if I were to go ahead and move this over, the text is not actually behind this. So I'm going to hit G, Y with our plane and move it up a little bit. And then hit GX. Now you can see the plane is in front of it. So what we're going to be doing is the reason this is kind of specific is because our background and our plane has to be the same color. Um, you can do this differently with other types of scenes, but I just want to do this really simply today. So what we're going to do is we're going to make it really uh, easy with this motion graphic tutorial. I actually got this idea from, uh, I think it's YouTube Originals. Is Their intro for YouTube Originals is just a solid white background. And the text kind of comes out of nowhere. Um, and I thought it was really cool, so I just figured I would do an effect like that today. So, I guess that's what this really is. I guess I would just call it that. So, let's just, you know, real quick, let's just type this text and make it say YouTube. That's kind of cool, right? Um, cool. Sweet. Thank you, YouTube. Alright, now, with our background, I'm going to change our color to white. You guessed it. And then we're going to go to the rendered viewport shading. And then so our white can actually be white, I'm going to go to the scene tab here, the main tab. And then go to color management, change it from filmic to standard. Now that is actually white. Thanks, Blender. Um, <laughs> and then we're gonna select our plane, and then hit this little, this little, little, little button right here, and change the, it to material. Now we can make this color actually white as well. Just drag that all the way up, and then we can take our YouTube color, and then hit this little new button, and then uh, add a base color. And of course, it's gonna be red. Now I don't have YouTube's actual red color, but it is something like that. Um, yeah, they have a very specific thing about the red color that they use if you're using it for social media It's on their website. I don't know what that color is, but we're not using this for graphics. It's just a tutorial So I'm not worried um, <laughs> We're gonna go and I want to I want to change these these letters the character spacing is too far apart I'm gonna scrunch them together like that cool uh, And I'm putting a little slash at the beginning, you know, maybe it's a you maybe it's a YouTube channel identification We don't know all right with our plane selected, I'm going to go ahead and hit uh, GX and then move it over. You can see pretty much this is the effect we're going to be getting today. So uh, the cool thing is, is that we can just move this plane right over top of the word. Uh, open this timeline up a little bit and change my star frame to zero. Yes. And then hit I location. And then we're going to go to maybe like frame 10 and then hit GX um, and then move it over about right maybe here. 
then hit I, location, and then on frame 50, we will hit GX and then move it all the way out the shot so it's not covering up any of the text. Then hit I, location. Now, this is what it looks like. Now we're going to need more frames than that, so I'm going to bump our frame level up from frame rate uh, 24 to uh, 60. And then we're going to go ahead and make sure that we have this looking all nice and smooth, which now we do, as you can see, looks much better than it did before. So now it's kind of coming out of nowhere, but it's kind of it's kind of happening too fast. So I'm going to go ahead and select these two frames, these two last ones, by hitting B to bot select these, then hitting G to move this up, and then hitting this one, grabbing this one and moving it up a little bit too. Might need to do a little bit more too, but we'll see. No, that's fine. We'll do something like that. Um, and actually, I kind of want to have this stop in the middle, so... We'll have this go to actually frame, we'll do frame 10. Frame 10, and then we'll move it up a little bit to about right there. Hit location, then we'll go to frame maybe 25. Then move it about right there, just very slightly away. Location, and then we'll have on frame 40, we'll move it like way over here. So it kind of just stops for a second. Yeah, something like that. Maybe that's too harsh of a stop. So we'll move it. Maybe up like that a little bit. Eh. We'll do like this. Yeah, okay, that's fine. You can also just make it go smooth all the way through, but I want to do that a little bit. All right, cool. Yeah, so it kind of stops a little bit in the center there, which is nice. A little bit of a slowdown it has to it, and then it speeds back up, which is nice. I like it. Now, we can take this even further by moving our word YouTube as well. So um, on zero... I'm going to have the location uh, be uh, yeah, approximately right there. We're going to have to fix our plane, but that's fine. Approximately right there. Location. Then on frame 20, we'll, ha we'll move our thing back over in the middle. Uh, and we'll just go. We'll open up this tab on the right-hand side. Just change the X back to 0. Perfect. And then we'll just hit I, location. Now it does like this. So you can see it moving very slightly. And I'm also going to smooth it. So on frame 60, we'll hit I, location. Then on frame 20... We'll hit GX and just move it back a little bit so it smooths a little bit. I location. And now you can see it comes out very slightly. But now our plane isn't long enough, so that's fine. We'll just hit S to scale it up even more. Actually, we can't do that because it's going to mess up the other side. Uh, so we'll undo that. And real quick, overlay it's back on. I'll hit Tab to go into edit mode with our plane selected. And then just grab these two vertices by holding down Shift. And then hit GX. Just move it over. It doesn't matter. We'll just move it over until it's uh, out of the way. So there we go. That is our little animation there, which looks pretty cool. I like C. And then I kind of want to make YouTube get bigger. So on frame 70, I'll hit I, scaling. Then on frame 85, S to scale it up a little bit. I, scaling. And then we'll uh, smooth it by going to 110. And then hitting S and scaling up just very slightly. Then hitting I, scaling. Now you can see, comes out, gets bigger, pretty cool. I don't like this stop that we put in for the white plane. I take that back, so I'm just going to delete it. There we go. Very cool. Sweetness, the text is too big, so what I'm going to do is uh, scale it down using this over here. There's a scale somewhere. I know there is size. Uh, we'll just scale it down like that, and then I'll just turn my... Y up a little bit. There we go. Look at that. This is very good. I like this very much. Very nice. Very nice. Look at this. Wow. Yes. Okay. That's it. So, I hope you ladies and gentlemen enjoyed this kind of YouTube red ripoff on accident. <laughs> I kind of realized that like halfway through. But yeah. So, I uh, hope you enjoyed it. I will see you in the next one. Uh, really cool stuff. The smaller the better because it, it looks more like YouTube that way. Very, very cool. Look at this. Wow. Very astounding. Look that. Look just like YouTube do. Look this. Wow. All right. Anyway, uh, I'll see you in the next one. Hope you enjoyed it. I'm gonna change our in frame to 140, and I'll also turn viewport denoising off. Cool. Cool stuff. Very very cool stuff. Text text is coming out of nowhere. It's moving. It's getting bigger. You don't know what it's doing next. YouTube. It has so many surprises for you around the future. I'll see you in the next one. But uh, until then, <laughs> bye bye.